What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two uh, with this mono red list. Uh, this is a very standard you know not too exciting but a decent mono red list uh last video uh we kind of went over the list in detail so you can check that out there but uh we've had some good good runs with this so we're gonna continue to try it out here and see how well we do hopefully we can uh do some damage this is a pretty easy keep here we've got a turn one scorch spitter and a turn two knight uh we can pump this next turn and then shock whatever they do uh, or we can just kind of throw this out. Um, potentially against a Demir Flash deck here. Uh, in which case, let's just go ahead and play this out. Get a couple damage in. I'm going to hold on to this shock. If this is Demir Flash, then we certainly want to be able to uh, shock some stuff that they're going to be doing. Sure. Makes sense. Play out champion. Oops. And we'll just do this here. Keep the damage train going. Uh, next turn we can drop this. Really? Huh. Interesting card. Let's shock this. They're going to get the Ember Cleave, uh, and that's fine. They were going to take it either way, trust me. <laughs> um, but the Shock at least deals with that, so we can keep getting some damage in here. And we do have the Rimrock Knight, so we'll be able to play that there. Interesting. Thoughtbound Phantasm. Not a card I expected to see, but hey. Light up the stage helps quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get this down. Play land. Play champion. Play Rimrock Knight. And here we go. Uh, no room for subtlety in a deck like this. You want to finish the game as quick as possible. That's why we're running out everything here. It's fine if they, you know, they gain control of a thing. That's that's cool. Um, we'll shock it. <laughs> uh, let's just attack all. Down to three. Do we have it? Looks like they're playing. That's fine. You can draw all you want. Who needs to draw when you've got a butt ton of creatures? Um, hmm. That's good. It's, I mean, it's a life linker, which is good. Uh, we're going to attack here. Woo, there we go. Anax, killing it. Woe Strider. Don't think it's going to do it here. Thief of Sanity. Okay. Well, land doesn't help too much, unfortunately, but... We're gonna just attack all. I mean... They're gonna be able to just kill some stuff here, and that's fine. Uh, in fact, they could not kill everything, but they can certainly do some damage. And kill Anax, for sure. But then... You know, we at least, yeah. Actually, no, I would have just done that, but that's fine. Oh, I see. They're just <clears throat> mitigating damage here, I suppose. Yeah. We're just spreading our board out, by the way. Uh, they kill Anax, that's fine, uh, because we just get two dudes for it. Uh, in fact, three, because we get this guy, too. Um All right, 
Let's hope we don't draw a land. Unless it's a Castle Embreath. That would be great. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> that was actually really helpful. Um, I have not seen this card in constructed at all. Uh, and it doesn't seem... I mean, it's bad here because they obviously don't have three life, but... I don't know. Maybe it's good. Sure. Gets you two creatures, but we still get there. There it is. Win number one in the bag. See if we can get two more. Uh, sorry, guys. We're dropping a few frames here, it looks like. There we go. We're back. Uh, all right. Let's jump back into game two. Uh, you'll notice I'm going pretty quick with these games. Uh, well, one, it's mono red. Of course, it's going quick. Two, though, um, there's not a whole lot to think about with this deck. I mean, there's certainly some things you got to be aware of, but... Lurus. Okay, this is one of the... the uh the decks that I wanted to see how this would actually work against, so I'm interested here. Um, let's play Fervent Champion. Sorry guys for the frame drops. Let's see what they do. Ginger Brute, huh? Yep. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's do this. And let's do this. I like to get light up the stage out early uh, because, you know, then we just get to kind of fill up and do whatever we want to do. Um, this is also just a nice blocker. They've got to deal with this. That works. It's a good card against us for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting tech piece, by the way. Uh, normally don't see that. Let's Phoenix of Ash. And let's swing in. This is a, a close matchup, though, because I do worry, you know, they get a Luris down, for instance. Um, we're kind of saving these shocks for that, but that does uh, pose some issues. Sure. Oh, that's not... I, I see why they're doing that. Um, that does make sense. Okay, so... Oops. Throw you out there. Throw you out there. Get a counter here. Play a land out. And we'll pass. No reason to shock quite yet. Um, we'll wait for them to play out their Luris if that's what they want to do. That's kind of annoying. That feels good, though. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, we're going to attack in. Please block. Please block. Please block. Please block. Yes, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. That onboard trick, though. <laughs> that feels amazing. We're just going to keep leaving this one mana up. Um, we lose that land there, but Castle Embreath was way too good to pass up. Um, we're going to leave up this shock, though. That way, if they decide to do this, we do this. So they've lost half their all that glitters, which feels good. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Yes, please. Yep. This is a different, uh, not the exact same Rakdos list that I was playing with, by the way. Uh, it's a little bit of a different vibe. It's cool, though. I dig it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't do well there, but um, 
thankfully we had those shocks. I think had we not had those shocks, we would have been in much better or a, a much worse position. Excuse me, because they could have stalled out the game a lot longer. Um, we did have the Phoenix in the graveyard, uh, which means we can just continuously kind of replay it though. Uh, and so we could have burned some cards just to get out the Phoenix and then hopefully won that way. Uh, so that was kind of our backup plan in that instance. So uh, very, very cool. Uh, I believe this is game three. And um, I mean, we're doing pretty well with this deck, I will say. Uh, Sky Nomad. Okay, this is a cool deck too. This is a bounce deck. Don't know how fast it is though. Let's get champion out. Kind of hoping we draw some kind of two drop or just another champion that we can leave up a shock for. But we'll see. Daxos. Definitely need to get rid of Daxos. Next turn, we'll castle Embreth and then probably just Phoenix of Ash. Great thing here, we do get to attack in, uh, even with the champion. If they want to block that, that's fine. We have first strike, which feels good. And now we're diversifying a little bit. We've got our, our flyer in the air, um, and we've got some damage on the ground here. That is a bit annoying, uh, but... Wait for it. Block, block, block. Yes. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That felt good. Um, they're stuck on lands too. That I'm sure does not feel good on their side. Let's go ahead and play you out. Let's just do this. Get him down to one. So now we are a shock away from winning. Now they do have uh, the, I'm pointing as if you can see, but they do have uh, the orator out here so they can gain a life. Uh, potentially a life at least and that's fine but we're I mean this is why we have a lot of threats so they're gonna get a 3-3 three, three. it's good not good enough but it's good there it is guys I mean we're pretty much undefeated with this deck uh, which is pretty sweet so I, I think it's kind of safe to say we are well positioned with mono red uh, in the meta I don't know that uh, it's not my like it's not the most fun deck in the world. It's very repetitive, very straightforward. But everybody in the world has played Mono Red. It's a great place to start if you're new to Magic. If you're new to Standard, try out Mono Red. It's a great starting point, uh, really for any format. But obviously, we're talking Standard today. Uh, the good thing about it is it's generally not very expensive to create on Arena. Uh, a lot of the wild cards. Uh, I say that normally it's not too bad. We do have like Robber of the Rich, Ember Cleave. You know, there are some pricey cards in it, but there's also alternate versions that do not run uh, things like that. There's the Calamity version, for instance, which is literally just tons and tons of 1-1s one uh, and then uh, the Calamity enchantment. Uh, and so there are different versions you can try out. Uh, this is kind of the base template uh, is what I would kind of phrase it as. And you can see now we're super well positioned in the meta. Uh, I think that um, this is just a lot faster than a lot of other decks, which is awesome for it. Uh, it is a little repetitive, but that's okay. You win games hopefully fairly quickly and then you can kind of move on to the next one. So if you're looking to grind out some games, man, this is the one for you. Uh, absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, please enter our Akoria giveaway. We really do appreciate the support, but uh, if you would like to enter, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, Comment on any video. It can be literally anyone uh, with hashtag Acoria giveaway. We'll let you know that you entered uh, and then you will, uh, hopefully we will choose you. Uh, but we'll we'll choose the winner on Saturday, May 16th. That is the day after uh, Acoria comes out in paper. 
Uh, and so we'll be giving away a free Acoria bundle. We'll ship it out to you no matter what. Uh, so please, please uh, make sure that you enter. Uh, support the channel in any way that you see fit. We certainly do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much. We've had a lot of really, really good uh, support lately, which has really meant a lot to us. So thank you. Seriously, we, we genuinely appreciate it. But uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.